Do you believe in psychic abilities? Recently, mind readers and psychics have become more and more popular. That's fine if you're seeing them for entertainment or for fun, but when they get involved in real police investigations, things can go seriously wrong. Luckily though, many of these fake psychics get busted, and sometimes this takes place in front of millions of people live on TV. Laurie McQuarrie This one comes from the TV show Inside Edition. Lisa Guerrero, a reporter, is sitting down with McQuarrie. Laurie McQuarrie is a famous psychic. She charges people to find out what happened to their missing kids for $400. But during the interview, Lisa pulls out a photo and says, what happened to this girl? McQuarrie then says, I believe it was a violent passing. Laurie, I'm gonna show you something. Okay. Okay. Yes. Does this girl look familiar to yeah, you? Yes, she does. I worked this case. This is a girl who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. She doesn't even take a moment to think and simply says this opinion. But that's when Lisa Guerrero says the child in this photo is me. So really, Lisa trapped this psychic with a photo of an alive girl, which is her. Of course, there was no violent passing to this girl as she's literally interviewing the psychic. It's pretty hilarious to see this psychic's reaction as it's instant karma. This little girl is me. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? But it's pretty sad to know that she must have done this to many parents. Who knows what kind of wrong information she's given over the years. Sylvia Brown In 1999, a girl named Opal Jo Jennings was taken from her grandparents' home when she was playing outside. This took place in Saginaw, Texas, and no one was sure where she went. For four years, no one knew where Opal Jones was. Unless you asked one woman, psychic Sylvia Brown. She performed a reading for Jennings' grandmother on the TV show Montel. Sylvia said she's still alive to Jennings' grandmother. She said that Opal Joe Jennings had been put into forced labor, but months later it was found that Opal had actually been taken out by Richard Lee Franks. Opal Joe's body was found in 2003, and examiners said that she'd passed away within minutes of being taken by Richard. So this means when Sylvia said that she was taken into forced labor, this was a total lie. Jose Chua In 1977, police arrived to a burning apartment. Inside, they found the body of Teresita Bassa, and they also found a large blade near her. Private investigators were stumped, and for months, they had no leads on the case. But that was until one cop named Joe Statula was contacted by a man named Jose Chua. Chua claimed that his own wife, Remebius, was possessed by Teresita. His wife, channeling the spirit of Teresita, called out the name Alan Showery. So they blamed this man for what happened to Teresita. But it later turned out that this was nonsense. Remebius worked with both Teresita and Alan at a hospital. It turned out she simply did not like Alan as she was frightened of him. So luckily an innocent man did not go to prison for nothing. But sadly the case remains unsolved to this day. Nancy Meyer One day an elderly man named Sylvester Tonnet was nowhere to be seen. Search parties went out, but no one could find him. That is unless your name is Nancy Meyer. Nancy Meyer, a psychic, gave some readings about this missing man. But detectives William McLennan and Will Greenway say that she did not help at all. They said Nancy's predictions were very general. All Nancy said was that he was near some railroad tracks and a body of water. But that's pretty much the entire area around where this guy lived. Carlos Asaf Psychics For many years, it was thought that Carlos Asaf had taken himself out. But in 2009, local cops reopened the case. That's because a group of psychics came forward and said what they thought happened to Carlos. The psychics said that they saw a lion, a horse, and the name Tony Fox. They also say that they believe Carlos was strangled, and also made to drink bleach and gasoline. The police immediately set out in a big investigation. They went to Carlos's favorite pubs, which had the words lion and horse in their names. They also looked into a known criminal named Tony Fox. But after they looked around the house, they found no signs of bleach or gasoline anywhere. And the cops later said these psychics were making it up. Joe Power A few years back, Shannon Matthews never came home from school. Of course, there was a gigantic search party with the community and police helping out. But another man, psychic Joe Power, was also on the case. 
She worked with Shannon's mother, Karen, to try and find her. The psychic told Karen that Shannon was likely taken from school. He also said he thought a man named Mick or Mike may be responsible. But despite his psychic abilities, Power never realized the person responsible was staring him right in the face. It turned out that the mother, Karen, was responsible. Cannon had hid Sharon away. That's because she wanted the £50,000 of reward money. She wanted to cash in on the $73,000 reward. So really, Karen is the villain here. But Joe Power also got exposed as being a pretty bad psychic. Sylvia Brown This is yet another bad reading from the psychic Sylvia Brown. But the worst of her readings have to be this one, the case of Holly Cruson. In 1995, Holly Cruson vanished from California with no trace. Eventually, Holly's mom, Gwendola Cruson, met with Sylvia Brown, the psychic. At this point, Holly had been missing for nearly seven years, and they were getting desperate. Sylvia Brown told Gwendolyn that Holly was in Los Angeles working as a Lady of the Night. Of course, this is a sad thing to hear about your own daughter. Because of Sylvia Brown's reading, the family often went to LA. They went around very dangerous and nasty areas, trying to find their daughter. But what Holly's parents nor Sylvia Brown knew was that Holly had already been found. Her body was found one year after she vanished in 1996. However, she simply was not identified. Ten years on, she was finally identified and Sylvia was put to shame as her psychic reading was fake. Sadly though, Gwendolyn passed on before the body was ever identified. This meant she passed on thinking her daughter was alive and working as a lady of the night. This has to be the biggest stain on Sylvia Brown's track record. John Catchings one day, Sherry Irely, an 18-year-old girl, vanished. One psychic named John Catchings thought that Daryl J. Wilson was responsible. Catchings and a detective went to Wilson. They tried to say that they thought he was responsible, but this led to Wilson taking himself out. This only strengthened the idea that he was responsible, but it was later found that William Scott Smith was responsible for taking Sherry's life. Smith said that Daryl had nothing to do with it. It turned out Daryl was very mentally unstable, and a visit from the psychic and a detective sent him over the edge. This is an example of how psychics can sometimes ruin lives. Noreen Rainier One day Arthur Herbert was flying a plane, but the plane never landed and he was never seen again. After years, his sister got desperate, so contacted Noreen the psychic. Rainier said that she'd found the crashed plane, which was false. She also said that Arthur survived the crash. She said that he limped away into the forest somewhere, never to be seen again. But he was later found, and medical examiners proved that this psychic was lying. It turns out that Arthur passed on as soon as the plane hit the ground. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below whether you believe in psychic abilities or not. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.